Onivia, League of Legends highlights. What is the counter going to be towards this Cassante? Personally, I really like the Camille way more than the Fiora because it really allows LNG to play side lanes here. Oh. Since, since JDG is going to be playing. Six now, though. And I think Vi, one of the few junglers that can actually reliably lock down the Akali, as long as Scout is a little bit further up the lane, doesn't get to jump back to his own turret. Yeah, and the other benefit also leeching that experience in mid lane. Yep, 4v4 potential here. Around this Rift, Herald is already. Zik is diving in. There's the Hextech ultimatum. Q is going to connect as Konami taken down to half health. 369 in trouble. And the Camille is so low that his first blood going over tonight to start this one up. Hung should be the next oh. one on the menu, and there it is. But Ruler is down, missing. It's so incredibly low, and there's the perfect execution from Scout. He's trying to do what he can. He finds the backflip, but now he's the last man standing for LNG. Can he get Konami on the way out? And yes, he can. One kill on Tarzan, one kill on Scout. If he got fed, if he was able to accelerate the point of the game, although Gala might be in trouble here. Yeah, Ball Breaker going to be charged up as Gala is in trouble, and he's just dead. Ruler is going to get his revenge there towards that bottom side. Shockwave going to connect on. Tarzan to feels very comfortable finishing it up and grabbing themselves number two. Also want to highlight the itemization, uh, yeah. itemization choice here for Knight. Going for that crown, I think, is such a big boon. Yeah, you're looking across the line, and you see Camille ultimate, Akali. Okay, we Speaking see bottom. across the line. Ruler is going to have the Sonic Wave soaked by his support. He's now ulted, trying to get himself out of here. Down to 200, and he's executed by Gala. That is going to be the no, kill. He's going to be able to get it with that one. They take him down. Shockwave here towards the top side. Scout trying to stay in the shroud. Ults to try and get himself out of there, but there is the cease and desist. And Scout, oh, the clock won't wind up. Not enough, but once again, it is going to be command attack coming in. Now it's Knight's turn to fall as Tarzan picks up the kill. Another Q going to connect. This Kanavi should be out Dragon is already up. Will be paramount. They take down that Rift Herald. It doesn't get any sort of charge off, and they push it right back. They're going to get the turret before. Yeah, Extendo Beam going to come through there, and it's as if it was JDG that dropped the Herald because they got full control. Oh, potentially, Kanavi can close the distance quite easily. Q not going to connect there from 369. The Alistair isn't out of the woods just yet. Kanavi going to get headbutted back, but Zik is not going to be able to protect the cow. Going to have to flash to get himself out of the way, and now the Drake is going to be taken. Tarzan! It's highway robbery! As well, I think the one thing that JDG might run into trouble with that we pointed out in draft as well is against a 1-3-1 one one company in particular, I think often you want to try. Do you just let them have Camtech Soul and team fight for Elber? Not gonna lie, I'm not I kidding. Act, I think that I'm LNG, not kidding, Kobe. LNG have now bought themselves 20 minutes. I don't think in the back of the pit, no one knows that the Lee Sin is there with full information as to what's going on. Now they do as the Sonic Wave does fly in, but Zika is on the flank angle, and these pincer movements can work out when you have a Camille you on do your team. The Orb is now trying to keep them in, in check, but Konami locks down the Baron. Now Tarzan dives in, he breaks his stopwatch, but Ruler has been kicked out immediately. He pops back over, and the team by team is popping off. Ruler unchecked in the pit, and he's just going to grab as many kills as he would like. It's two for now. At the very top here. Now it's just going to be... Straight on through, murder these towers. And it look, it's dominoes, isn't it? Basically, like after that team fight is won, now JDG, they have the Baron, they have that extra push power. There is no way that side lanes can be a win condition here. And it does put once again into perspective the danger of trying to play a composition like this for LNG. But JDG, they just picked their team fight comp. Now they are knocking on the door of LNG and looking to move up to 1 0 in this best of three. It's just the power. If you don't have engage, who cares? Force the enemy to go into you. Zika's trying to keep the wave away or trying to keep the pressure <laughs> up, but his base is going to smithereens. Yep, in a turret for Nexus may not be the trade they're looking for, but there's a cease and desist, and Tarzan oh. will acquiesce that one. LNG now trying to defend, but without their jungler, and now 369 is unstoppable. The Hextech ultimatum is one that they don't care about at all. As 369, he's going down low. Scout's trying to get what he can. Void Seek is going to work out. There is still an inhibitor turret there in the mid lane, but it's not quite going to be enough. And now the Nexus is exposed. Gala is looking for Ruler. Ruler wants a rematch of the 1v1 from earlier, and Gala's making it work. Ruler goes golden and says, all right, Knight, you can take that one. And JDG will take down the Nexus here in game number one. It's a team game, Atlas, and the five on five still win. This would be the Nah. Mm -hmm. Um, but is it going to be 
just have to find out. Always. He's, he's like, to... look at all these fun tools I know. that I have. We've Go. got Jack still available, Cassante still available. Like, this is last and day. Setting themselves up for a strong mid game. As a jungler, I, I actually do always try and use green skins. You know, all of the, like, <laughs> blend the, in. The league partner skins because I'm like, wow, maybe it'll help a little bit blending into the background there. No, that's a okay, commentator. Yeah. We are starved for that oftentimes throughout the year. Uh, so. Uh, it's just not really delivering on that front. But still, I do love the jockeying for position. I don't uh, find that I'm actually... I, I don't need any kills. I, Honestly, like, if if someone's Nexus is threatened and it's still 0-0, zero, zero, not worried. Uh, you're literally light power. Might actually help you to tie you over because obviously the JDG uh, team comp later in the game is going to be really big. Right now, though, with that first turret blood pick... To take down the second I mean, Herald. Scout, Scout has teleport, but he, he's... He's up at the bottom turret right now. Oh, it's being used. Let's right. go. Now let's see whether this is actually going to be that first blood. The Rift Herald is going to be secured, but now Kanavi's in trouble. He's jumped up. He's taken down first blood at 16 minutes for Scout. Might have, but they didn't get the... So the thing is that <laughs> in an LCK game, we would not have been talking about the game for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, we'd probably be still on uh, Shamrock Malphite at this point. It's missing in a bit of trouble as well. Could be a second kill pretty quickly. Flag and Drag comes in. He avoids the knock-up, but not going to be able to avoid the takedown as Knight throws in a Shock Blast. It, it seems uncomfortable as well. <laughs> I can imagine. You know, dragging so, all that So way. do not recommend? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh! Never actually done it myself, but now we've got Scout going golden. There is the Nature's Grasp. They're looking for the re-engage. Missing's right in the middle, but I don't know whether it's going to work. The Blade Caller is massive and Tarzan going to lock down. Missing some low health bars, but Scout is still going to be able to get rid of Knight. 369 is trying to do what he can, and they do manage to collect two. But 369 is going to go down. Zigger is the most gigantic crocodile I've ever seen in a free for two trade LNG gonna be very happy pick up the objective pick up the dragon set themselves up for soul point and making sure that JDG all over this bottom side of the Scout. river but JDG now have access ruler is gonna move into the mid lane to put pressure on there as well as Scout he has the nature's grasp knows that he can get over this wall he's unseen by JDG right now this angle is looking fantastic but ruler he can be there in an instant he has that killer instinct available JDG missing. Can he find the engage opportunity? Can Scout then find the answer? As Nature's Grasp is going to be used on both sides. And it's no button and no button for both of the jungler and the mid laner here. The Drake down relatively low. Tarzan in the back of that pit. He's going to be kicked out. And that is going to be the soul denied. Play Caller is good though. Is missing. Looking to be the first one to go down. And there is the kill for LNG. 369 on the bottom side of the fight. Is oh! Scout. He flashes for it. And Ruler is going to answer. The health bars are so low as the Cataclysm comes in. And it's the crocodile that reigns supreme. 369 going down incredibly low. Ruler close to full health. And there's a three man Q. And Tarzan fights that knock up. LNG win the fight. They deny the soul. Scout making sure almost going down, baiting in night, but then staying alive. And big for me at the beginning of the fight. Scout, that's worth. It's, but, uh, it's a very short cooldown. It's an expensive yeah. denial. No, it's already bad. It's yeah. almost up. Now you need to com just stay out of vision. Stay out of the way it's of level Scout. 16. Yeah, this is going to be very, very difficult. Now there he, it is. It. he gets it anyway. So um, maybe not the best um, best use of that it money. It looks cool. As we've got a bit of a battle towards the bottom side of the map. Zicker at 50% health up against 369. Taking a fair bit of damage back now, though. As JDG trying to deal with this siege, LNG just standing, protecting this siege minion. And there's a bunch of empowered minions heading towards this bottom side as well. So many leaks for JDG to patch up here on the sinking ship that is their base right now as the channel is going to be used. The Hex Flash gets missing out of the way, but Kanavi's not going to be so lucky as the Nature's Grasp is <laughs> so dangerous from Scout and LNG. They'll break down the front door and they're looking for even more here. Moving towards the Nexus Star at 369 as a decent angle, but it just he just doesn't seem to be able to find any way into a potentially good fight. Ruler trying to rain down his Q on the enemy team, but now it's 369 that's just going to get picked off, and JDG have not a lot of options left. They've only got one Nexus turret left here. Ruler and Knight, they're going to have to do a lot of damage. Yeah, they're diving forward. Tarzan just trying to get Knight, and he'll be able to pick that one up. Now there's no Nexus turrets left, and LNG just mop the floor with JDG here in game two. And as everyone predicted, we are going to a third. Whoever wins this next game is going to knockouts. LNG have consistently been able to really personally like Camille answers into Aatrox. Uh, as a counter, but it looks like he's not going to go that angle. It, it would also give you options for trying to 
further pick people off and separate people since you're running He's the, the one with the pushing bottom lane, so they want to get those dragons stacked early. That's really big. Uh, denying LNG early dragon stacking is uh, the way that we saw how well JDG was able to play around that in game one. Shot her down, can start generating some large gold leads. We need to take down Ruler though, because the Herald went over to Kanavi. Yeah. And not going to be able to get that last plate, but Scout has moved into position. There's the knock-up. They managed to get the cease and desist as well. Rule is going to be taken out. First blood goes to Scout and missing. He's now underneath his turret. Last shot, not going to come through there. And that is the double kill for the LNG mid laner. Scout has been so good. Top, if that's where he's required hook, just going to hit the wall there from Hung. Sometimes these things happen, you know, as now Tarzan charging the Vault Breaker. Is going to find the flash onto Kanavi. They get into the back line. He can't do anything but the pop blossom. It's absolutely huge in response. It's just not huge enough. As now Scout trying to get out of there. 369 gigantic as he gets over the wall. Hung just sees his death as he breaks his stopwatch on the ground. The Aatrox will pay for it as Zik is here to tidy up. And get themselves the Dragon and I'm... We'll see what the draw is here. LNG hoping for a strong soul to come through. Like a cloud. And that's not what it's going to be. It's going to be Dragon. We're going to go all in, try to really blow up our gold lead, already overloading the top half of the map. And JDG seems to be moving people towards it. Use that control that they bought for themselves. Night now, though. Teleport in from 369. Yeah, they're looking for the opportunity. 369 may have been a little bit early as the hook is fantastic. The chain CC comes in, but look at the charm. It's on to everyone. There's the follow-up as Kanavi is going to cut them down with the Cyclone. It's Ruler that grabs the first kill. Knight collects one as well. And JDG bought themselves all the space. They'll take the first Hextech. Tired now, Kobe. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Give me another turret shot. <laughs> Well, Zika is going to get some work done here towards the bottom side. Gets that outer turret for himself to move that mm -hmm. up. And uh, then we don't know how this game is going to go at all. Uh, they're going to be able to take the outer turret here in response, though, on JDG's side. So that's much on Gala here. Uh, as as much as Scout has gotten some early kills and has started. Oh, Kanavi. Yeah, finds the angle as Scout is just flashing and trying to get away, but he's not going to be able to do so. The Foxfire comes out. Can you actually get out of this one? The answer is no. Kanavi presses Q and down goes the Ari. And JDG now have dealt with Scout. It's a four versus five, and they are bearing down on LNG. They're looking for this inner turret, and they could take anything else that they'd like. Tarzan also possibly caught out of position. Kanavi's just taking names at this part of the game. Knight not going to find the pop blossom there, so that's a cooldown they don't need to deal with. But this is one that they have to, as the quickness comes that... in, and they are just torn apart. Goal is taken out. The turret was still up, but it doesn't matter because Ruler is there to take it down. And JDG, they're oh, sorry. Cells. I'm At sorry. At the very least, LNG will get a dragon, but that's not going to be. Nate, they might not even be able to. Yeah, they're going to defend the dragon sneak attempt from LNG as well. 369 comes down. Another charm is going to two knockups in a massive AOE around your champion. You're feeling pretty good about it. And he thinks that uh, that's Very still frightening. Three items already completed as Zika. Just looking for these opportunities as in goes Tarzan. Wants to be able to find this one. Kanavi's going to go golden. Keeps himself alive. Buys the time is hung. He's going to be the target here from JDG. They managed to get the one for one trade, but it's a little bit better here, you should say, for LNG. Taking down the jungler. And now Scout looks for the opportunity. Another quickness is incredible as Ruler dives on top of Tarzan. But he doesn't exactly find the value he's looking for. The third Q does come in. They get rid of the buy. But Ruler is also dead. And now Gala taken down. 369 is a monster, and he's gonna take the triple kill. And JDG, I think they've done it again. Look at his player cam, he's not even impressed. <laughs> this is just a normal day for this man. He's rolling 999 nine, nine this time around. Knight hits that double snare at the end. LNG are down, JDG are going to move on through. And I can feel the groan of all the LPL commentators like, not again, it always happens just this way. But JDG, the favorites for the tournament, will also be the first ones welcomed to the knockout stage of Worlds. An LPL tournament favorite that does not disappoint. Oh. It is not 2015, I tell you that much, Kobe.